Fuck me. People will all... Please complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. Take my advice, Pilgrim. Don't mess with Elena. So Just follow their trail, scout out the situation. You got a problem? <laughs> yeah, but uh, too dangerous to pull anyone else into. Come on, just out with it already. Okay. Have a seat. I'll tell you the whole story. My name's Paul. I'm on a damn good scavenger team. Me and Daisy are in charge. Her son Fitz is our second. Recently, some assholes moved into our territory, trying to push us out. Avery and Francis. You heard of them? No. Well, they're bad fucking news. Daisy went to talk to them to be neighborly. Our neighbors beat her and broke her hand. It could have been worse. Even after that, we were willing to talk. I mean, we're not fighters. So Fitz took the crew with him for another meeting yesterday. They never came back. And I don't know what to do. I, uh, I need to find them. I need to know what happened. I see. Okay, I can take a look. Where do I start? Oh, you're a godsend. The team must have left from our staging area. Back in the day, it was called the Incubate Building near Goldstone Loans. The signs are still up, so you shouldn't have trouble finding it. Just take a look. I'll make it worth your while. Promise. I'll check it out, and we'll see. Her boyfriends tend not to live very long. Daisy, right? Is anyone else here? Paul sent me. He's been worried about you, Fitz, and your team. Where is everyone? At the Larrabee building, on Milton Court, not far from here, by the modern art sculpture. Fitz and Francis arranged to meet there. Francis seems more civilized than his brother Avery, but ask me, <laughs> I think he just hides his crazy better. I warned Fitz not to trust Francis, but my son, sometimes he's far too trusting. Chances are he waltzed right into an ambush. Please, check the Larrabee. You'll see the sign. Okay. How will I recognize Fitz? He's medium height, dark brown hair, bright blue eyes. Uh, blue jeans, black jacket with a, a pin on it. The Eye of Horus. <laughs> His lucky charm. For mystical protection, he says. The Eye of Horus? What's that? That old Egyptian eye. Like that one. <laughs> Silly superstition, maybe, but right now, I hope it works. Francis's camp is up in one of the condominiums at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Eugene Garnier Thruway, where the E-10 collapsed. Look there, too. Bring my boy back, and the team. Hear me? Roger that. I'll find them. Just get back to Paul at the canteen.
Come over and take a look at this for a sec. <sighs> This started out as a friendly meeting. It didn't end that way. Dead bandits, no scavengers. Strange. in on Francis. Maybe he has some answers. that 
Friends of yours. What do you want? Daisy and Paul sent me. I'm looking for Fitz and his team. They never returned after they were supposed to meet with you. Okay. So this looks bad. But I'm putting my weapon down, okay? This is all my psycho brother Avery's fault. Let's start there. He'll do anything to anyone to get what he wants. Including to me. His own brother. So when this Fitz kid showed up, I saw a chance to get free of Avery. I told Fitz exactly what the kind of monster my brother was. And he signed up on the spot to help me take Avery down. So the body's at the Larrabee? Avery's guys. My brother is a psycho to everyone. So we gave them a chance to join us against Avery. The bodies you saw. The men who declined. The rest of us headed over to Metropole Tower. Over there. That's where Avery's holed up. Fitz took point. I held some men back to guard the rear. Uh-huh. And where are Fitz and his team now? They... Ah... Uh, they were captured by Avery's crew. They took Fitz alive. I wouldn't leave him behind. Not after what he did. But now that my men are dead, not sure what I can do now. Are you sure Fitz is still alive? Last I saw, my brother likes him awake when he tortures them. I'll head to the skyscraper now. If Fitz is dead, you're next. Why blame me? He had skin in the game. His poor, injured mother.
Kid, huh, boss? When I saw those baby blues, I thought he'd start crying like a toddler. Nah, they didn't tell me anything I didn't already know. Francis sent him. No offense, boss, but your brother's not right. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. He's been waiting for years to make his move. We'll get him, and whatever's left of his group soon enough. Ain't no one left. We killed them all. Ah, Avery. Just the man I came to see. Ah, another of Francis's goons. Been here long? Long enough to know that you tortured a kid to death. He attacked me, you know. Never saw the kid before today. And the torture? Well, it's just a hobby of mine. His fault for provoking me. Well, shit. Francis told the truth about you, at least. You invaded their territory, and Fitz only came to talk, so what happened? Francis, probably. Cause truth be told, I was willing to talk. I sent a man with a map to propose a reasonable division of the territory. Next thing I know, this crazy kid shows up at my doorstep. My brother got into the kid's head. It's what he does. So, I'm Francis's plan B to kill you then? And like Fitz, no blowback on him if you kill me first. But he forgot one thing. That we might talk. So how about we make a deal? Go back and kill him for me. And I don't make you my next hobby horse. And I'll let Daisy and Paul know that this is my turf now. All of it. What kind of deal is that? One that makes us even for me having to kill this stupid kid. They got nothing left here now, so they might as well clear out. If they don't, 
And we happen to cross paths? On my turf? Well, it ain't gonna end up any better for them than it did for Blue Eyes. Fuck that shit. No way. Have it. Never You better check that body. Fetz. It looks like an agonizing death. Time to make Francis pay. So glad you made it back. Phew. Fitz. He okay? Everyone's dead just like you wanted. Fitz and Avery included. Time for you to join them. Hold up. With Avery gone, it's time for me to get mine. His men will rally around me. No one can stop me from taking over. Certainly not Daisy or Paul. And sure as hell, not you. <laughs> Paul's not gonna like the news. Oh, my poor Daisy. Fuck. Pilgrim, don't mess with Elena. 
Some stones are better left unturned. If Elena ever hits on you, be careful. Her boyfriends tend not to live very long. Careful when hunting those specials, brother. One of these days... The days you make it back? I don't see her. She did. She's resting. Uh, where's Fitz? He... He's dead. Francis conned him. He and your team were duped into attacking Avery. No, wait, what? Fitz? Th th that doesn't make any sense. It's, it's not like him. Francis used Fitz's love for his mother and the fact that she'd been injured to fire him up. And then Avery caught him and tortured him to death. Poor stupid kid. Getting himself killed just because he loved his mother. Fucking bullshit. All right. Okay. And what about the rest of the team? Marta? Snarry? Mehmet? Are they gone too? Never saw him myself, but from what I can tell, I don't know how they could have survived. Well, at least tell me that Francis and Avery are dead. You got him, didn't you? Yeah, I took care of both of them. They won't be a threat to you anymore. All those people dead. <laughs> we never wanted to fight. <sighs> what a fucking mess. What the hell do I do now? You comfort Daisy. You mourn your friends. Then you carry on with life. Here's the reward I promised. Someone had to get something good out of this. Might as well be you. I have to tell Daisy about Fitz now. Not a conversation I want to have. But I gotta pull the bandage off, quick. And at least her son's murderers are dead. And that's what they call cold comfort. <laughs> well, it'll have to do. Fuck. Thank you, Aiden. Escape from wing glitter. Silencio's got rounds for these fucked up times. Wait, you're Silencio? Yeah. You familiar with my art? Well, not really, but I have seen Silencio posters around town. And you look, uh. Well, you look younger than the pictures. Well, maybe it's my use of boulder tissue mask or some other shit. Depends on who acts. If you it's a crime, it's cause I laid them fresh rhymes. Fresher than Frank and his team in the shitty canteen. I have no way of picking up what you're laying down. The virus must have really cramped your style. Cramped, but not necrotic. I'm better than ever. Now how's that? Just listen, man. Throw me a word, and I'll freestyle for you. Goat. Goat? Are you fucking serious? That's whack. How about, uh, ooh, the peacekeepers? Ah, tough one. They got no style, they got no rhythm. And all they want is for us to join with them. Acting peaceful when for fights they're keen. Just like the Lushes in Frankie's canteen. Dope, right? Lay another one on me. <sighs> okay, um, volatile. Fast and furious, I can see that you're curious. Who's scared of them most? Acts like he's seen a ghost. Wanna scare Frank? Play a volatile prank. 
Yeah, of all my rhymes, that was not the most fine. Hit me with another word. Well, I'm sensing that you're not a big fan of Frank. Really? Why'd you say that? Just an easy rhyme to make, man. Well, not really. You came up with some excruciating rhymes just to diss Frank. Excruciating? You disrespecting me? The one and only Silencio? You're not Silencio. <laughs> with rhymes like those, it's clear you just pose. My guess is you're just some wannabe that Frank won't let perform at the canteen. Yeah, but only because I'm underage. Not because I suck. Grow up then, and stop pretending you're someone you're not. And I'm sure Frank would be more friendly if you cut down on insulting him. I'll... think about it. Meantime, check this out. A ticket to my last gig, fool! Told you I was the one and only Silencio! Ha! South? Or was it downtown? Hey, you're not that pilgrim, are you? You don't have to yell like that, you know? I'm standing right here. What are you demanding of me? What? I said you were yelling at me. Why would I be rebelling against you, pilgrim? What? What are you talking about? Just stop shouting at me! I'm sorry. I'm a bit hard of hearing. Oh, now I get it. I'm Pate. I was supposed to infiltrate a renegade camp. I'm on a mission, given to me by Jack himself. If I save a survivor who's been kidnapped, they'll make me a peacekeeper. But I'm afraid. I'm not surprised. Now, about those renegades. No, no I'm afraid of them. Afraid because of my hearing, I'll... Miss something and royally fuck up. I've already been booted from supply. I was operating the loader and didn't hear it when people started shouting it. Well, long story short, I dropped a crate on someone. And did you... <sighs> Ouch. Do the PKs know you have problems with your hearing? Well, you know what? Luckily, the PK know I can't hear. They want to give me a desk job. Aha! I have to go to the old bridge at the end of Lower Dam Air. Go there instead of me, Pilgrim. I need this win. I'll reward you. Let me think about it. Thanks, man. The prisoner, uh, a rather tasty one, I'm told, is being held in a shed near the flag tower. I'll be waiting for you at the windmill across the river. Ugh! <sighs> 
And wiped out. Everyone in the camp's dead. Thank you. Now go. Meet me at the windmill across the river. Okay. Sure did. The victim, Henrietta, should be here soon. Wait a second. Her name is Henrietta? Oh no. That's not who I was supposed to rescue. I must have misheard which camp to go to. The PK will never take me now. I'm useless. A useless piece of junk. There you are. I don't know how to thank you. I unlocked the door, but Pete's the one who really saved you. Me? But... I'm just Braun. This guy is the brains of the operation. Planned the entire raid that allowed me to free you. Tactical genius, this one. Saving people's just his thing, right? Boss? Right. Uh, <clears throat> I guess you could say that. Heroic. And modest. Nice. Uh, twerk nothing. Uh, what's your name? I'm Pete. Henrietta, would you escort me home? I don't want to get taken again. And with you, I'll feel safe. With me? Safe? Wait, Henrietta, you must know that I... 
M my hearing's not too good, and... Don't worry. I'll speak louder. Shall we go? S sure. Let's go. Thank you, Pilgrim. Thanks. Good luck. With her. I never learned this language. My name is Manfred. You don't even know how lucky it is that you've come along, Pilgrim. Let's find out. I have made contact with one of China's satellites, which are still in orbit. Ha! Huh. Yes, yes. I know that look. You're excited too. Wow. How did you do that? I constructed a device that boosts the range of the radio tower's receiver, so that it can receive signals beamed from the satellites. I was able to send a message and... someone answered me. I mean, the reply was garbled and I didn't understand anything, of course, but... Do you realize what this means? There are others with electricity, technology. They can help us, or we can help them. Only, I was preparing a response to the last message when... I was attacked by infected. Head down south on Lower Dam Promenade. You'll see there are two buildings connected by an overhead walkway. You need to clear the roof of the one on the south. There's a radio tower on it. Please, I've been working on this for years. I got you. Just let me think about it. Thank you. As soon as you get rid of them, radio me and I'll come join you. coast is clear. You can come back now. Great. But first, there's a switch at the bottom of the antenna. Turn it on, and I'll be right there.
You got it. Now go up the tower and activate the devices I installed. Fire up the connection. I'll be right there. We'll go down in history in a moment, Pilgrim. I don't understand Chinese, though. And you've seen a little of the world, so maybe... Uh, I, I don't know Chinese. I've only been wandering around Europe. Okay. We must make ourselves understood somehow. Gotcha. Let's avoid colloquial phrases such as gotcha. I'll be there in a moment. Okay, it's on. I'm calling from Villador, in Europe. Until now, we thought that we were the last surviving city in the world. We have some medicine and supplies. What's it like there in Asia? Over. Can anyone hear me? Over. Can anybody hear us? Over. We're losing the signal, Aiden. We have to hurry. Villador here. Pick up. Hey. Hey. Losing them. Europe to Asia. Hey. Europe to Asia. Europe to Asia. It worked. Aiden, you hear that? Hey. 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 What the fuck, Aiden? What crazy shit you up to now? I know that voice. This is Jack. How the hell did you hack into an encrypted channel? The PK commander? I'm dead. I am so dead. I don't know how you did it, but... Jack, this guy here, Manfred, he thought he was hacking an old Chinese satellite. Is that so? I could use a man with his skills. Tell this Manfred to come see me at the ship. What? Me? Th th thank you. I... And no war hacking. Unless it's on my orders. Well, Manfred, looks like you got yourself a new job. Yes, and I'll have access to better equipment with the PK-2. I'll be able to contact Asia now for sure. Thank you. Help yourself to the valuables I've stored under the tower. Ugh! <sighs> 